Aloha. A documentary from the Network Q Project shows the inaugural Gay Ski Week in Park City 27 years ago. Welcome to Queer Valley. Winterfest 1994. Being that it brought everybody together to work together in the end, I think it turned out to be very successful. Yeah, that was the first time I had ever uh, been involved in something of that nature. Chris Condit says unity was just as important then as it is now. There was a lot of uh, stigma, there was a lot of uncertainty, there was a lot of fears for other reasons. The gear and clothing may have changed. I've loved skiing since I was 10 years old. But Condit's love for skiing <laughs> has stayed the same. Condit remembers when there was little to no LGBTQ plus visibility on the mountain. It gets into some political wrangling, I guess you might say, between uh, what was going on in Colorado at the time. Back in 1992, Colorado voters passed Amendment 2, preventing a city, town, or county from recognizing homosexuals or bisexuals as a protected class. Two years later, in 94, LGBT skiers boycotted the only other gay ski week located in Aspen, Colorado. In society, as things have changed, there's a lot more understanding and a lot less um, apprehension or maybe anxiety about these issues anymore. <laughs> Park City Ski Resort welcomed the event with open arms. When this gay organization called you up and, and wanted to bring a bunch of queers up to the resort for a week. <laughs> we consider um, ourselves an, an open door organization that um, as long as people are here to ski, we're more than happy to uh, welcome them into um, our offices and on our mountain. I think it was a lot more progressive than people well, probably viewed it to be. Winterfest 94 drew nearly 2,500 people to Park City. The event has transformed into what is now called Elevation. This year, due to the pandemic, Elevation 2021 has been postponed. Park City losing out on about 1,500 tourists. It's definitely down compared to a normal season. Inclusivity and bolstering the local economy are not the only priorities for the Park City Chamber. We're hoping to finish the ski season strong. Um, our goal was to be able to stay safe, to stay open. COVID-19 precautions are also top of mind. We want our visitors to know, you know, that our community is working really hard to keep our community safe and our visitors safe and our employees safe, and that visitors play a role in that too. While the pandemic has created distance between many of us, Helping people in general has just been my style. Condon hopes next year to be back on the slopes for Elevation 2022. It's a beautiful day. Jared Jotanini. This is a perfect day for skiing. ABC4 News.